So Mark Zuckerberg, who is as responsible for both the successes and challenges that came with the web 2.0 social media era, he just dropped a video manifesto, which let's be honest, is a very on-brand sentence for him. In that manifesto, he declares that super intelligence is insight. And unlike most visionaries who say that while holding a whiteboard marker, Zuck's holding a checkbook and it's on fire. Meta has been spending on AI like a Bond villain. 15 billion into scale AI, a $100 million signing bonus to poach AI uh, talent, deep mind talent. They even hired Alexander Wang, who's now rocking the title of chief AI officer. But what is all of this for? Not just to automate your job or write emails faster. Now he wants to build personal super intelligence, AI that helps you achieve goals, create what you want, what you want to be, you want to be a better friend, whatever it is. Cool. Nothing says friendship like Ray Bans that listen to your thoughts. But look, this isn't just like flexing. Meta's betting the whole decade that AI won't just replace us, it's going to enhance us. So while OpenAI and others race to automate work, Zuck is trying to sell you the future through wearable tech and vibes. Challenge is it doesn't really cover a lot of where AI is going, which is in the orchestration world. It's not just about generative content. It's much, much, much more. But his framing is kind of wild. This is the moment we decide if super intelligence will uh, empower us or just obliterate large chunks of society. No pressure. And this is a guy who's going to have a big say in it. So yeah, this is either the most ambitious uh, democratization of intelligence in human history or uh, just the most expensive midlife crisis ever captured on video. Either way, your next best friend might live inside your glasses.